Hey, I'm Paul. Hey, I'm Pej. Welcome to another episode of Techie Dads Smart Lock Edition. So, yeah, my first, well, maybe second foray into uh, IoT and, and smart home devices. What'd you get? Um, so the August, um, they have several out. Um, I held out a little bit for the this smart lock only because now it's actually working with um, Apple HomeKit, mm. which, you know, Apple's doing some great awesome. things to sort of consolidate the interface on, on the phone, which is going to be my primary way of accessing this thing. And I think the first thing to keep an eye on or to think about is um, whether you're also going to need this accessory device, which is just called the August Connect. Its whole purpose in life is to connect that lock through Bluetooth to your Wi-Fi network so that you can actually get messages on, basically control your lock over the internet, not just within proximity of... Oh, I see. So house. you would... Well, we should talk about this one first, but right. um, with this device, then, if I'm uh, on the road and I go, oh, did I lock the front door? You right. Can check. Then I can check it. And actually force And the then lock. force the lock at that but point. But you're also able to get notifications, which is actually, in the end the main reason I was looking for it, right? When okay. someone else is unlocking or my, you know, family gets home or whatever, I could get notifications through it. So, so let's start with this first. Mind. So yeah. could you already investing, you know, 300 bucks for, so this is the main itself. unit really. Right. Yeah. So without this, not, nothing else makes sense. Right. So if you have a conventional deadbolt door, um, the installation is mm -hmm. pretty simple. It took, uh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes. Um, just take your your inside of your deadbolt off, and this basically replaces your your mechanism to. So to that, switch that's kind of cool because uh, you know some of the other ones you got to replace the whole unit, right? And then you got to use a special key or a fob, right? Right. This one is just the back side of it. You put it on, right? And you can so, still use your front your your normal key. Yeah, from but, the outside, no one even knows that this right. this is there, which is kind of nice, right? And and it doesn't make your lock or your door look stupid because it's got some out of place uh, mechanism, right. right? Some glowing blue light, right? Right. Yeah, this is some crazy luck. Yeah. So from from the outside, nothing really changes. It's just the, it's just the inside. It is. It's a pretty large knob, as you can see from the from the images we'll show. But um, it's because it's got batteries in it, and it's got a mechanism to actually turn turn the deadbolt. It does light up when it's uh, actually. Uh, how many batteries does it take? It takes two. I believe it was double A's. Oh, that's not good. Maybe, so how long does that last? Triple Do you know A's. Yet? We'll find out. All right. Yeah, um, I don't even know if it gives me a battery notification. Hopefully it does. It's yeah. all dependent on the app. There is a bit of a pairing exercise that you go through with a secure ID code and so on. It does allow me to do things like granting virtual keys and things like that. So I have company next week, which I actually do. Um, and he can install this app. I can grant access to this lock. Through the app to... Through the app to so that whoever, So whoever uh, is coming to visit where you want to grant them the temporary key needs to have a smartphone. Right, they'd have okay. to put this app on there. I'd right. grant it to them, and then they can basically lock Got it and lock my house when they when they walk up to it. Doesn't it's mean cool. they can necessarily get to it from from the internet, but right, right. But so and, and so, how does it work then? As you, you have your smartphone in your pocket, as yep. you get close to your uh, front door, it recognizes who you are and therefore unlocks the door. Right, you just open the app, and immediately there's just one big red button because it's locked. You you press the screen goes green oh okay so you have to actually go in the app press a button right not near field that's there are thing. options i haven't oh, done that one okay. where it's just based on proximity it'll lock and unlock but i mean i'm competing with my family going in and out of the house and stuff so i want to have control of it but it actually is a it is an okay. option in, in the software to just say when i'm in proximity open the door open the door nice and when i leave lock the door lock it um so I think uh, things to keep in mind, they're more mechanical, right? But uh, two doors, um, double doors, um, make sure you have a clean um, um, deadbolt there, right? Don't have one that you have to give a nudge or, or jimmy a little bit because you're obviously relying on this mechanism to shut the door. So oh, so it's got to be a clean I had to do slide. a bit of carpentry work to, to get my doors <laughs> to line up, but that's that's a whole other story. But right. keep those things in mind, right? That make sure that you're, you have a, a good... Uh, uh, frame to, to go into. Okay. So that's that. That hooks up to your Bluetooth device, not to your internal network. Right. That's just right? Bluetooth right to your phone. Right to your phone. So then this device, you got to install it. Uh, it just goes right in the AC outlet. Does it, it have to be, be near the plug? It needs to be close to the plug. Okay. Yeah, so mine's probably 10, 15 feet from, from the door. It does a whole um, check to see if the signal's strong enough, both their Wi-Fi signal on the network and then obviously the signal to, Bluetooth, the, to right. walk on the door. Um, and that takes you know a few minutes to actually set up, but it's it's relatively simple. There's a light on that device when it's when it's working, and then that's it. And uh, you'll see in the software you actually have an extra option to connect not just with Bluetooth but through uh, the 
the internet or the Wi-Fi network. This is the same app that controls the same app. So, okay. Which is kind of funny because I really wanted HomeKit, yet I haven't used... I can use HomeKit instead of... The yeah, app that app. comes with it, yeah. And it's, you know, what ended up happening is I had both of them running and both of them were notifying me that the door was locked and unlocked, so I just turned one off. I haven't actually used HomeKit despite okay. it being compatible. But it gives you a choice. I think the point is... If you do a lot of other things in HomeKit and you have your lights and everything wired to it, it's probably more right. convenient. Because I don't, I just go to the Algo step. Yeah. And it even works on my watch as well. So um, with my Apple Watch, there is a... So as you're walking up, you can... I can use that to... to, to That's pretty convenient. Well. Yeah. yeah. If you keep that in mind, even if I didn't have my keys and I didn't have my phone, just because I have my watch with Bluetooth, I could get in and out. So that's my whole goal in life is to have no keys for vehicles or, or anything. So, Dude, I want it so that it knows I'm walking up and it just unlocks the door. That's totally an option. Yeah. yeah. So very. So cool. it's worth checking out. It's it's. I mean, there are other vendors out there. These guys seem to have the biggest name. I'm sure the prices will come down eventually. I think that was the thing you were saying that it's uh, it's cool. It does a lot of things that you right. want, but it's very pricey. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is, and not that you want a bargain basement thing that's locking your home anyway i think you want to have something you want to make sure that it's you can't get secure, unencrypted no well, russian hackers right yeah. and then it's just mechanically well yeah. made right mm. so you have to take those things into consideration too yeah does it come in any colors it does there's like a, a red one and a silver i got the the gray right so the, if yeah. you want to try to color match your door i think that's kind of neat i mean right. yeah you know i've got the insteon service which we should get into more detail at some point but um, there's, I mean, these are coming uh, in fury now. Weber's got one with their lock. But I think right. to your point, this is the fir one of the first ones where it doesn't change the face of your lock. It it's behind, right? But on the outdoor, when you if you're thinking about curb appeal, no one knows any wiser of what it is, nor yeah. can they try to rip it out. And it just uses the mechanics of your deadbolt. Right. And it's got some devices that allow you to do some other things. I think that virtual key is kind of cool, right? So if you've got workers, or you have family coming over, you don't have to give them a key. It just does it. And then it's a yeah. temporary key, right? So then the key will yeah, be you can have it. You can yeah. remove the privilege at any point, or I think you can even send it to Are you client. happy with it? I am happy with it. I mean, it's one of those things that um, you don't want to notice. It doesn't get in the way, but there's, you know, it's been great not to have to fumble for the keys and getting weather that's colder and just. Here's the, here's the ultimate it. question. Right. Is your wife happy with it? She is, but she to her it's the same. She still uses the the manual knob, right? Like, right. So no different. No difference. I haven't convinced her otherwise, but I think if there's ever a day where she locks herself out or whatever, she'll have an option. There you go. <laughs> I'm Pesh. And I'm Paul.